Hi y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Monogross Man, and today I'm here for my very first Hearthstone video. And we're going to start with a deck profile of my deck, Howl of the Bo Howl of the Beast. And this is a Hunter class deck profile that I'm going to be showcasing you guys, to you guys. I'll be running through what the deck is, then we're going to take this deck out to friendly PvP against a friend of mine. Um, and yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, the deck functions around the Hunter's Foundation that the Hunter is an aggressive, aggressive player. He tries to get as much damage off the opponent, off against the opposing hero as possible in one turn. So he's hyper aggressive. He likes to have minions on the board. Minions are the hero servants, of course, and they are the cards in our decks that are monsters, such as the uh, such as the Timberwolf, such as you know things like that. Those are minions because they have health and no health. So like for example, if I was to have, uh, let's say we had the, uh, do we have a minion on this field that I can read? Um, like this two mana cost minion right here. This is a minion because it has a attack stat and, an, and a health stat. Um, the attack stat is how much damage it can deal against opposing heroes or minions and how much durability, how much damage it can take before it vanishes from the field. So, Hunter likes to do as much damage as possible, so he focuses around beasts, charge units, taunts for protection, uh, and then damage dealing as in power increasing. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the Howl of the Wild deck recipe. So, the first thing we have, if I can get my mouse to hover over it. Oh, I need to put another Hunter's Mark in there. So let's go ahead and put the next Hunter's Mark back in there. So we have, uh, let's go with Hunter's Mark, which is changing a minion's health to one. This can be helpful when your opponent has like a four, three minion on the board and you have a one, one unit to kill it with. You can change the unit's health to one, which is how much it can, how much damage it can take before dying. Change this to one and kill it with your one, one charge. Um, speaking of charging, we have the Stone, Hunt, Stone Tusk Boar, which is a 1 mana 1-1 one, one beast with charge. Charge allows the unit, the minion unit to attack on the turn it's summoned. Otherwise, they cannot attack until the turn after they were summoned. The next thing we have is the Goldfoil Timberwolf 1-1 one, one beast. Your other beasts have plus 1 attack. This increases beast's power by 1. This allows more damage to be dealt. Of course, the the uh, hunter has a hero power that deals two damage to the opposing hero instantly for two mana costs. Mana costs uh, vary on each turn, and you'll see what that what I mean by that when we get into the game. We have next we have a young dragon hawk, which is a one one wind fury beast, which is a one mana cost. This wind fury allows two two attacks from a single unit instead of one attack only. Um, the next thing we have is a secret. A secret is kind of like a trap. Um, it's called misdirection. It's a two mana cost. When an enemy attacks your hero, instead it attacks another unit on the board, including the opposing character, uh, opposing hero, or any other of the opposing hero's units, or one of mine. So basically, if my opponent attacks me with a 6-5 unit, and I have, let's say, a 4-5 unit on the board, or something like that, it can attack another 6-5 unit on the opposing side, say, say that they have the same unit that I do, it can attack the 6-5, kill both, or it can attack her directly, or him, depending on who the opponent is, and or it could attack me, or it could attack my unit. Just It, it changes the direct target of the attack. So, the next thing we have is uh, River Crocolis, which is a 2-3 two, uh, two attack, 3 health, 2 mana cost beast. It's just in there for filler. I may change it out for another card going forward, but we don't know. We'll see. The next thing we have is the backbone of the deck, kind of. Uh, I need to make sure I find another one of these. Actually, let me go ahead and do that right now. Uh, let me take this out. And let me see if I can find my second Scavenging Hyena, because I remember having 
another one of them. Um, where is he? Oh, is he not in there? Do I not have another one? I thought I picked up another one. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, see, look. Hold on. Yeah, see, look, we got another one right there. So, uh, this is my collection of hunter cards, but let me go ahead and get this in there. Uh, let's go ahead and snake that in there. That will be good. So now we have two scavenging hyenas in the deck, and that's helpful because I need that, because that is the foundation of the deck. Because after a friendly minion dies, gain plus two plus one. So this is the the foundation of the the backbone of the attack stat. So it's basically like the big thing. I want to try to get this out as quickly as possible, protect it as much as possible. But yeah, the next thing we have, because of the foundation is that this is the main killing machine. The next thing on the board is snipe. Snipe is a secret. After your opponent summons a monster, deal four damage to it. So if he sum she summons like a 4-1, he or she, depending on who it is, summons a 4-1, and I just, I have this on the board, I can just snipe it and kill it before it can do anything. The next thing we have is Animal Companion, which allows me to summon one of three companions. God dang it, Mouse. Summons one of three companions. Uh, the Taunt Companion, which I believe is a 4-4, it summons a Charge Manion, which I think is a 4-3, and a... Uh, boosting companion which I think is a 2-3 um, so it depends on which one of the three you get it's just kind of around the luck but that's good to have in there regardless the next thing we have is deadly shot which is a three mana cost spell card destroy a random enemy minion you want to make sure that this card is used in coalition with only one minion on the board uh, this allows you to get rid of a dangerous minion as quick as possible the next thing we have is iron forge rifleman a three mana two two non beast. It's a non it's a non class unit. It just has a battle cry, which is battle cry is a it's a battle cry is an effect that triggers once it's summoned onto the field. Uh, battle cry deal one damage. Battle cry effect. I can choose to eliminate a one one charge unit or a one beast on the opposing side. One health charge beast or a one health beast on the opposing side, or any unit on the opposing side with one health. The next thing we have is. Jungle Panther, a 3 mana, 4, 2, Beast with Stealth. Stealth prevents <sighs> prevents targeting. It basically, until it attacks, I can't be tar the Stealth Pan the the Jungle Panther can't be targeted by effects or attacks. But once it becomes unstealth, unstealthed after attacking, it becomes vulnerable to attack and such other things. So. It just is there. It's just there as a board clear. I may keep take this out and put like a life steal or something in there. We'll see what I do with it later. But for now, we're gonna rock out with it. The next thing we have is one of my favorites: kill command. Deal three damage. If you control a beast, deal five instead. So this is the backbone of board elim board of bleh, board elimination. Sorry, I cannot talk today. Uh, kill command allows you to kill an opponent unit that gets to be too strong for your board to handle. Just deal five damage to it and just blow it up. That's cool. The next thing we have is Raid Leader. Your other minions have plus one attack. It's a 2-2, non-class, three mana cost. Uh, this unit allows higher power increase, uh, which is why I have two in there. It allows power increase the opposite to your side, so you increase your damage output significantly. The next thing we have is a Taunt. Silverback uh, Patriarch, three mana, one four Taunt Beast. This is a taunt. A taunt is a unit that is forced to be attacked first instead of attacking the opposing hero. It's a protection wall, basically. And it's a protection wall that can deal damage because it is one attack. That's cool. That's why I have that in there. A taunt prevents my myself from taking damage and instead redirects the, redirects the attack to my taunt unit. The next thing we have is Houndmaster. We have two Houndmasters in the deck. This is a 4 mana, 4 3 beast, or a non class, but it gives a friendly beast plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 attack, plus 2 health, and it gives them taunt classification. So not only does it increase power, it also redirects, uh, it, it creates a wall for me as well. That's cool. The next thing we have is a 4 mana multi shot spell card, which is 3 damage to 2 random enemy minions. So that's just board clearing. The next thing we have is a. Oasis Strongjaw, 
4 mana, 2, 7, beast, 2 damage with 7 health, which is bulky. We only have one in the deck, but it's just there for being a bulky fat thing, and then a thing that deals damage. It's a thing that's there to help clear boards. So, the last thing in the deck is Stormstrike Commando, a 5 mana, 4, 2, non-class unit, which deals 2 damage. It's similar to... Not this. It's similar to this. It's similar to the Iron Forge Rifleman, but it's a stronger, more damaging Rifleman, basically. So, that's our deck. And now, let's go ahead and take it to PvP. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here, and then we're gonna go ahead and send my friend, if this would load, we're gonna go ahead and send my friend a friend request, or a battle request, and we're gonna go ahead, oh boy. Uh, she's not online, so we'll wait. I'm gonna cut to when she's available. All right, we are back. We are connected with our friend, and we are challenging her to a duel. And this is a friendly duel, of course. So, as I showcased earlier in the video, I'm gonna be using the Howl of the Beast deck that I showcased. So, let's go ahead and choose that, and let's gear up. While we wait for this, I want to ask, you guys to let me know down, down below in the comment section would you like to see more hearthstone videos i mean i'm probably still gonna upload them but i'm curious to see do you guys enjoy these kinds of videos do you want to see more you know what's the consensus and also what or who is your favorite hero to play in hearthstone so that is the comment question of the day and it looks like it looks like we're going up against the shaman she has. Begin. So, looking at this, this is a kind of bad hand. And let me tell you why, because we have two Timberwolves in the hand. Yes, we have a charge unit, uh, but I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to keep one Timberwolf and Mulligan the other one. And then I'll keep the Beast Companion because that'll be helpful. Um, I want to keep one Timberwolf because I'll summon my charge unit. Uh, you know, you know what? She may kill it, so I won't. So I'll just murder the both of them. So we'll go in because I want to keep the beast companion because that might be helpful later. Oh, cool! We picked up a taunt and a second charge here. I didn't realize I had two of these in here. Ready for action! She summons a one-two taunt. Um, and what can I do? I can summon a charge unit. Oh, I also I got a crystal because I went second. I got a mana crystal for free because I go second. Uh, I could choose to summon my 1-1s one -ones and kill off the taunt with them. Or, I can summon my own taunt and force her to attack me. So I think I'll just wait. I think I'll just wait this turn. See what she does. And kind of force her hand into attacking my taunt next turn. Because I'll have 3 mana next turn if I use my crystal. Okay. She stacked up on taunts, which is fine. Uh, that's perfectly fine by me, because what I'll do now, is I'll do this, add this, put this on the board, and that'll be it, because I'm out of mana, so I can't cast anything else. Oh no. Okay, so she's increasing power. Okay, that's no fun. Okay, so what I can do now, is she's done what she's done. So what I can do now is I can do this and this. And unfortunately, forcing, you're forcing, she's forcing my hand a little bit. That's uh, incredible. But I'm going to have to do what I have to do. And that is get rid of these stupid taunt units because these things are getting to be a problem. Uh, and I can't use Hunter's Mark yet. Well, I can. I'm not going to. Uh... That didn't go as good. She's like, she's overwhelming me right now. Uh, which could be a problem. Why do you have so many taunts? Oh my god. Ow. 
hide. Okay. Um, what can I do? I can Timberwolf. So I do that. I got the buffing one. Dang it. Job's done. Dang it. Okay. Well, I think she's gonna pick. She's gonna take it because. I have such bad luck with this. Oh, come on, really? She's increasing her her taunt power. And now she's gonna kill me with her beasts on her field. Oh, yay. Adding another taunt to the board. Because why don't you? Uh, punch me in the face. Deal two more damage. Punch me in the face. Punch me in the face. Punch me in the face. Do I have recovery from this? Do I have a recovery from this? Maybe. But I mean, she'd go in and kill it next turn, but I guess that's fine. Because... <laughs> now she has to deal with this, too. So now she has to deal with that. So what I can do now... Is I can actually... Kill that. Buff him up, and then uh, I should have killed Command, dude. But you know what? It's fine. So do that. Uh, unfortunately, that's all I can do this turn. So we're gonna go ahead and end our turn there. What's she going to do now? Cause she's forced to attack my taunt, and yes, she can use one attack to kill it. Uh, but she doesn't have- oh, yeah, she does. Never mind, yeah, she does. Oh! She has that, too. Yeah, that's the thing, too. Okay. Uh, well. Do more damage. Punch me in the face. And she got her health back. Yay! I've got a huge Actually, I'm gonna retract that. Give me a second. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Uh, well, let's think. The four two is a big one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hunter's market. I've got a huge gun. Shoot him in the face and end my turn because I'm out of mana. Taunt's gone, but she can only deal like four damage to me. So in theory, she can't kill me. And I can go in and start killing things next turn, unless she gives herself plus three. At which point she wins. Oh, she, okay, okay, okay. Well, unfortunately, we take an L in this match because. <laughs> what can I do? I mean, I can summon this for what it's worth. And kill the big boy. And then punch her for what it's worth. And that's about it. So, unfortunately, my friend is going to take the W in this game. Because one punch to me in the face, and that is game. So, rip. Unfortunately, that's how that goes. Uh, sometimes that's what happens. We are gonna take the uh, level up though, and yeah, so that's cool. Oh, sweet! I picked up a Timberwolf Gold Rare. I picked up a Gold Rare Timberwolf. Exciting! Um, that's really cool. So, with that said, uh, we are going to go ahead and cut this video off here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did. Leave a like down below, of course. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> Enjoy. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. And we will be back with either, you know, we'll see what we come up with more. But we will definitely be back. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, like I said. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.